going to talk about two things briefly. First, the um, occupation itself, and then secondly, the aftermath, which I think is far more important. Um, we went into occupation two Thursdays ago, um, and in the afternoon, the Union passed a motion called Defend Gaza, Condemn the Israeli Massacre. In this motion, there was no mention of Hamas rockets, um, there was no mention of, you know, Hamas or the you know, government or terrorism whatsoever. It was a motion totally devoted to Israel. And if I'm honest, I didn't think it would pass. We didn't mobilise. The Israeli society mobilised amazingly. Um, and that motion passed overwhelmingly. Um, we went into occupation that afternoon. Um, I don't think this... Well, a lot of us didn't actually think we would be there for a week. Uh, most of us only brought one change of clothes. Um, one guy slept in a bin liner on the first night because he had bought a sleeping bag and he thought we'd only be there for a night. Um, the school certainly did think we'd be there for a week. So the day after, we had a rally with Tony Benn and Alex Klinikos um, and Liz Wheatley. Uh, about 450, pa oh, 450 people came to that. And it's one of the biggest student union meetings that we've had at LSE, certainly in the past year, probably in a long, long time. Um, over the weekend, the school came to us and said, come on, guys, you've been here um, three days now. You're not thinking of going home? Do you not want a shower? Um, you know, very jokey about it. And then on Sunday morning... Um, the pro director of the school came to us and said, OK, you're not going. Tomorrow we're going to get an injunction against you. Um, one of the students stood up and said, um, OK, that's fine. Um, and in one of the best lies I've ever seen told, said, uh, that's fine, that's great, but could you tell us when? Because the BBC want to come and film us um, being dragged out. Um, <laughs> so the director kind of disappeared um, from this afternoon came back about three hours later and said, OK, we might be able to negotiate over some of this stuff. Um, on Monday morning, we were woken up at 6.30 in the morning by police. Um, six policemen came in with police dogs um, and said that they'd come to check the theatre um, for bombs. Um, when they realised there weren't any bombs, they said they'd actually come in for a training day. Um, <laughs> they, they'd turn up to their training day six hours early and to the wrong theatre. Um, so it was clear from the start of the week that the school were trying to intimidate everyone um, into getting out. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we were in quite intense negotiations with the school. And we ended up having three, four-hour meetings um, afterwards to discuss um, what to do. On Wednesday evening, we released a joint statement with the school um, saying we were going to end the occupation, but we reserved the right to reoccupy. Um, in this joint statement that we got from the school, they actually backed down on pretty much everything they'd said they would never negotiate on. They waived the application fees for all Palestinian students. They um, provided scholarships to Palestinian students. There was a there's going to be a charity collection for Medical Aid for Palestine, um, which the director joked um, that he would hold a bucket for, and then we said, can we have that in Britain? Um, <laughs> can we have that written down? So he's now going to hold a bucket from that outside the library. Um, he used to be head of the FSA, so if you want the laugh. Kind of sum up quickly, two more, two really important political victories actually came out of this. The first one is we really pushed for the school to consider divesting from Israel, um, and that led us into uh, they agreed to kind of seriously consider this in a way they've not considered before. And this has enabled us to link up with the LSE not for profit group, which is a really growing campaign at the university at the moment. A lot of whom uh, people are involved in who aren't necessarily interested in Palestine, um, but have seen the victory that we've won with this. Um, the second thing, and perhaps the kind of main thing that I would finish on and encourage um, all the other students who are still in occupation um, to kind of think about and dwell on, is that the idea that management um, can say you're not going to do that or um, we're not going to do that has been completely smashed at LSE. Um, the education welfare officer came to me today and said, if you want to do an occupation about pro-choice and abortion, that's fantastic, I'm really up for that. Um, there was a motion in the union general meeting today by the Israeli society saying this union recognises the um, right of the state of Israel to exist. That motion didn't get passed. Um, one guy, on the, basis, on the basis that one guy got up and said, this union shouldn't recognise the right of any nation state to exist. Um, we believe in internationalism. Um, <laughs> The, we had on the slogan on the wall, the 1968 slogan, be realistic, demand, um, dream the impossible, and I think a lot of students are starting to believe that. Yeah.